All right, what's up guys? It's Aaron from How To's By Bros and today I'm gonna to show you how to ride a bike with no hands. So I know this is a little bit of a different kind of tutorial, but I'm trying to step outside the box and think of new things. So it's a really simple video on how to ride with no hands for kids, beginners, or adults that are beginning, like I said. So yeah, so let's jump right into the video. So the first thing is you wanna make sure the bike is the right size. So the right size is where your knee is a little bit bent right at the, the bottom part of your pedal. So it's gonna be like this. You don't want it super, you don't want to you have your bike like super uh, down here so it's like, so your feet like extend fully. You wanna have your foot uh, bent a little bit just like this. And then you also don't wanna have your foot, have your bike like too small for you where you're just going like this. You know what I mean? So make sure your bike is the right height. And also, if you have a mountain bike, use this for doing riding with no hands because it's a really simple way to ride with no hands with a mountain bike. It's really simple. So let's jump right into the rest of the tutorial. So also make sure you have tennis shoes, guys. Make sure you're not wearing flip-flops. You can get these on Amazon. I'll have a link in the description and it, uh, if you want to get them or anything. Um, we get a small commission, but yeah, you can get tennis shoes at amazon.com and then yeah So the rest it's pretty simple to ride with no hands honestly, but I'm just gonna give you a few tips on uh, How to do it for beginners once you're on your bike The first thing you want to realize is you don't want to get too much speed You want to get a perfect amount of speed so you don't you don't want to go too fast or too slow if you go too slow You're gonna wobble a bunch so you want to make sure you have the perfect speed and then when you're letting go of the handlebars make sure you let go at the same time so make sure you're you're riding you're riding and then it's pretty stable you're going at a decent speed and let go and the first time you let go of your handlebars make sure they're about shoulder level you don't want to be like ah and then maybe crash you know you want to make sure they're really close to handle handlebars so you can catch yourself if, in case you fall. Another thing is you want to keep, when you let go of your handlebars, you want to keep pedaling. You don't want to stop pedaling. So that's one of the biggest keys is just keep pedaling and just relax. Don't, you know, don't be nervous and then you're going to wobble a bunch. You want to just relax because it's, it's pretty easy. Don't think about riding with no hands. Just let go and let it take over. Uh, it's gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. It's really easy to ride with no hands, especially with a mountain bike. So let's uh, jump right into the examples. And I just let go slowly. Get a good amount of speed and put your hands like this and let go. So thank you so much for watching. That was how to ride a bike with no handlebars for beginners. I mean with no hands for beginners. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. As always, God bless, and click the link in the description if you want to find out more about Jesus. Basically, there was a time in my life where I felt depressed and empty, and Jesus filled that void in my heart, and I would just want to share that with you. He gave me joy and life abundantly and purpose, you know, and now I have a purpose. I didn't feel like I had a purpose before Jesus and before I started telling people about Jesus and stuff like that. So. Yeah, if you want to guys check it out, it's in the link in the description.